Hey, Chud should be on his way here somewhere. Um, you're having a good time. So far? It's all right. <laughs> well, we've all been waiting for you, and uh, everybody's eager to this one. <laughs> now, you know, a funny story. Um, I've known Juan, how long, Juan? Uh, April 11th, 1987. That's it, is it? That's exactly April, it. That's crazy. That's exactly I played play my first show with... 1987? Yeah. Backyard party. Yeah, he posted a picture once on Facebook of, uh, of you know, himself and you. you know? Bastard! That's so jealous. So now, guess what? I'm going to get a picture with Doyle. Alright. <laughs> Anyways, um, does anybody have any questions? I know Juan, you want to ask something? Or? Juan, you want to ask me a question? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't yeah, he's like, like you do a Q&A? Awesome. Good to see you again, Noel. Thank you for coming down. <laughs> All right. Love you, man. So check it out. Um, you built your own guitars in a, back when you were a teenager or so? Uh, Did you? I think I started in 1987, I can't give you the exact day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> tell, us, tell us how long we need to uh, get, it, get it going, building your own custom piece. Um, the guitar that I make, I drew on a, um, you know when your mom makes you a uh, cover for your book in school, like out of a paper bag? Yeah, <laughs> I book covers. A, yeah, <laughs> I drew a guitar on there and I saved it because it came out really cool. And uh, a buddy of mine was making guitars, and he came into our machine shop, and he was making it all pumped up. And I was like, "What are you doing to that thing?" And he's like, "Oh, I'm hitting it with a router, and then I'm gonna, you know, file this down." I'm like, "Give me that fucking yeah, put it on the machine." And he did it real quick. Was like, Ooh. So we started making guitars, and I took, I was playing that Paul Stanley at that time. Yeah, the Iceman. Right. So I laid it on the floor, and I held yep. the picture up to it, and it was fucking right to scale. I was like, holy shit. So we made that guitar, and, uh, and I just started making it. It's a pain in the ball to make it. <laughs> but if they're easy to break, right? right? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> I saw when I took a close look on when we did that tour together, I saw a close look on your guitar. It's just full of blood yeah. and bash. Are you missing fingers because of that? <laughs> it's me. It's me. Yeah. Now, now your guitar is mass produced, but do you use any of those? Or you still use them? You stick with your original. I don't want to say bad words about them, but I don't want to Right, right. <laughs> well, that's, that's your, your child. That's your yeah. one that you created. I get it. That's cool. Thank you, Doyle. I love you, man. Now, the name of the company I'm using guitar is uh, October. This is no more contract. Oh, um, Now, tell us uh, your, your, uh, the new record, yes. Doyle. Um, you, you're with Chad again. Yes. And uh, are you guys getting ready to, to hit the road again? We are going out. Uh, I think, I got the sheets on today. Well, I think it's August 15th through September 15th. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be uh, US? US. Are you going to be heading down to this? Uh, how many people are from this area? How many people from out of town? Out of this area? Out of town. Okay. Um, Jackson. Okay. Well, I mean, yeah. you have that tour information at your booth. Yes, yes, yes. So, I mean, it's you guys... It's on our website, which is, uh, you know, what is it? Is anybody going to look at it? Now, let me ask you, um, you, uh, I, I have the book that uh, Gary put out with the photographs, and you were a jock, as, as obviously he's still on. <laughs> you were on the football team, correct? Now, how did you make that transition from being a, a um, an athlete to being a musician? Was that something more you did? You always want? I've never been a musician. You've never been. I think it's different because I think you're a fantastic guitar player. Um, but was it, was it something that you always wanted to do? You always wanted to play music? Was it something that that, uh, you know, being an evolved and being related to Mistress uh, kind of led into that. No, well, I always loved music. Uh, my mom got us into music. Uh, she's in the 50s, so she got all 45s when she was a kid. So when we were kids, we played those. And that got us into music. It's pretty much her fault. And uh, once I realized that I was like a freak uh, athlete, like, and I felt like I was a guitar. <laughs> Um, you were you were taught 
did a good job. <laughs> good. Once, once he got a handle on it, you know, we had a good show. You know, he just didn't get along with brother. <laughs> now, now that you mentioned him, <laughs> what's, uh, what's going on with the, uh, I know you've, you've been trying to work on a reunion with your brother and with, with what? What's going on with that? Because I'm a huge Misfits fan. And I mean, I love the old stuff and I love the new stuff. I don't compare them because to me it's two different bands. Yep. It's two different eras. Yep. And they're both absolutely amazing. Um, but I would love to see that. And I mean, I would love to too, you know. Are there positive? Um, does it seem like it? It's, oh, look who is it. Dr. Chun! Hey, what's up? Check one, two, two. How's everybody doing out there? Yeah! Uh, what's going on? Uh, we were actually just talking about... Uh, oh, we get to play interview. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We were talking about, uh, Doyle was just about to go out and tell us about um, the progress on the possible Misfits review. <laughs> <laughs> so the possibility of the whole thing. So it does seem like maybe it might happen? I'm going to try my best. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. It's a little uh, delay right now, so once that's cleared up. But I mean, obviously, you and Glenn have a great relationship because you've been doing the show with them. Yeah. I think it's going to happen. It just sucks that it's taken so damn long. No, I agree. But I mean, you know, I, I, at the same time, I don't want that to take away from the stuff that you guys are with the new band. I mean, it's two totally different things. It's, yeah. just, it's great, you know. But I know the diehard misfits who absolutely love no, of course not. Yeah, I think both could be done. You just gotta get the, you know, get five minutes and get some, uh, Now, now Doyle earlier, Chad was telling us about um, how he got to become a musician and, and stuff like that. Now, what inspired you to become a musician? Um, sixth grade, kid walking down the hall with drumsticks in his pop back pocket. He was like the coolest kid in, in the school, so I, I thought that was cool. And I said, I want to do that. Uh, yeah. That was actually the first, first thing ever. And then after that, my brother's Queen albums and Kiss albums. Kiss? <laughs> Uh, 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 that's my brother, you know. Uh, yeah, Queen, uh, Nadia, uh, Nadia, Nadia. Yeah. Yeah, it's the first line, the first line, uh, the first song, you kiss my ass goodbye. But death on two legs. As soon as I heard that line, I was like, oh. Yeah, the opening riff is good. Are these bands that influence, I'll just mention Queen. That was the first show I ever seen. Really? What tour? Dave's Races. Wow. Uh, I think I saw the Killers tour. Queen Killers. So bands like Queen and obviously Kiss, where were your big influences at? I mean, because obviously, um, you know, I had Mark Ramona in there earlier, and he mentioned that, uh, that you know, Alice Cooper and bands like Kiss were really, really the originators of Harlem. Oh, yeah, Alice Cooper, absolutely. Yeah. Hey, I don't know what the fuck that's just. Watch out, man. Juan's gonna be mad. <laughs> He's watching you, Doyle. <laughs> Do you have any questions out there for, uh, for Doyle and then for each other? You can join this up. Uh, you know? <laughs> Nobody. Oh my god. What? Anyways, um. Chad, Doyle was telling us about the, uh, the upcoming tour. Um, now, once you get through that tour, uh, do you, what's, your, what's your next step? Do you guys plan on recording again? Do you want to ride this album out for a while? Or? Uh, we recorded it already. We've got another one done. 
Yeah. I got one more song to record. They're waiting on me. <laughs> I don't know what it's called now. So it's all late, so I'll put it out tomorrow. <laughs> but uh, we're going to just, you know, keep going for a while. So what's this? I did speak with some of the guys in your band. Yeah, that was fun, man. Um, but yeah, now you guys have the new band, and you have the new record. And, well, the record, it's been out a little bit. But, you know, you have new weapons coming out soon, or hopefully soon. Um, yeah. Is there anything after that? You guys are writing any material for a possible third album? Uh, we've got a couple songs ready, but no, we're not. <laughs> it's just something that we'll mention. I don't want to record my four. I don't want to play it, but it's hard. I don't know. I'll tell you that. You're pretty good at that. <laughs> well, let's, let's say you decide you don't want to play anymore and uh, you put the guitar away and you don't write any more music. You, you still left such a legacy with the music that you've already done. You know, whether it's with Miss Visitor, Gorgeous Frankenstein, or with the new band, Doyle. Um, and that's, that's something that's going to carry on for a very long time. You know, I mean, look, look at the, the history and the legacies of the Miss and you're, you're part of that, you know? And that's something to, to really be proud of, and I'm sure, hopefully you are. <laughs> and uh, as well as you, Chad, I mean, you were part of that, you know? That's something that, I mean, as fans, we all appreciate and all love, and we'll always have this. Oh, that's that shit. Yeah. 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 Does anybody else see that? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I was just wondering, what were your favorite Misfits songs to play, or if not necessarily Misfits, what are some of your favorite songs to play? My songs? My favorite? I love playing Astro Zombies. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Mine is the last one of the night. Okay, so um, my question is kind of the opposite of hers. Is there just any songs that you know that all the fans really want to hear that you're just like, I don't want to do it? Like, what's the one song that you're just definitely like, I hate it? That's when I play with Nancy Hughes. You won't learn nothing else. You won't learn anything. Fuck the new song. And he sits us all around. So, what songs do you guys want to do? And we all start saying shit. And he says, No, no, no. And we're just like, Fuck it. You know, you're just going to pick them anyway, so just pick them. Oh, yeah, we have to have one more. Oh, yeah. Your 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 own guitar rig. What kind of rig do you use? Like uh, like like two stacks and what's the whole thing with with rich pedals? What kind of pedals do you use? Like your your, your most favorite ones? Um, with the Misfits, it's no pedals. Uh, with this band, I'm still fucking with their pedals. Every piece of equipment would work, but if you don't play for a month, you would have said everything, nothing works. Oh. Everything's fucked up. Uh -huh. I don't understand. Thank you. <laughs>